Welcome back everybody to the second video in my Wolfram Park series on Planet Coaster. In this video I'm going to be working on the interior of the World Pavilion some more. Mainly trying to add some toilets and a few shops just to help flush out the inside of the building. Now I had played around off screen quite a bit with these bathrooms you can see here. I really couldn't find a place that they fit well. Um, and you can see I'm trying to put them up near the front of the building. But because of the way the uh, path plaza is, they just don't fit very well without taking out large chunks. And you'll see that I ended up going back behind the stage and putting them in. Now you'll also see in this video how I solve the darkness problem that this interior space has. Because it's so big, the middle area of the floor is really dark and the spotlights really don't reach far enough to light it up. So you'll see later how I ended up solving that problem and it actually also helps solve the problem of all these small circles that are left over from creating the plaza. Now you'll see me go through a couple uh, different iterations of these bathrooms. I wasn't entirely sure how I wanted to style them. I, I wanted them to look somewhat modern, but the few things I was playing around with, they were either too bland or they just didn't look right. Um, but yeah, I think the final product came out pretty well. Uh, they definitely could be better, but I'm not super great at designing some of these smaller buildings. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I might come back to them in the future. While you're watching this video, you may notice some small time jumps or inconsistencies. Uh, unfortunately, my game crashed something like 20 times while uh, recording this video. And it's kind of been doing it for my future videos as well. I'm really not sure. I I'm pretty sure it's my OS, actually. Uh, it just needs reinstalled, and I'm waiting on some parts to arrive, and I'll get that done. But yeah, if you see things like that, uh, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it. I uh, just had to pick up wherever I could and stitch the pieces back together. I'm going to let the time lapse just go on its own for a bit. Enjoy. I gave you a chance. Give you a 
Now what you see me building here is sort of the main food area for this building. Uh, again, this is another building I really didn't have much of a plan for, for how it was going to be designed or fit into the overall structure. Uh, but I kind of figured I would make it look like it was sort of added onto the building after its construction, so it's sort of set in between these pillars, and it's not directly attached to the overall building. I did spend quite a lot of time working on this building. Uh, I just kept messing with the roof and some of the scenery objects around it, just trying to make it look better. Um, I, I probably ended up spending too much time on just this one building. But in the end, it came out pretty nice. Uh, I think it could use some more detailing, but I'm really not sure what I want to do with it. Uh, again, I don't have much of a plan when I start most of these buildings. It just sort of, however, it falls together. Um, and whether it just looks nice or not to me. But uh, a lot of the small detailing, it kind of gets missed by me because it's just not something I'm used to doing and I'm really not sure what looks good. Uh, I'm trying to improve on that, as you'll see hopefully in my next videos. But overall it looks nice once uh, it gets finished, which you'll see in just a little while. Now what you see me doing here in this next section is just sort of playing around with a lot of the wall signs trying to get a different look to this building. Uh, I was trying to see if using any of the signs uh, against the facade would give me sort of a different look other than the blue or white walls that are available. Um, in some areas it works, uh, but in a lot of places it's really hard to try and get anything out of it. Um, but like you can see these sort of orangish yellow signs here I put up by the Hats Fantastic Shop. Uh, they, they can work. Um, they're not great. But it does give you just a little bit of extra color uh, instead of just these blue or white walls that we currently have available. And then I came back over to the stage and started trying to dress up its, the lower white walls that are on the uh, bottom half of the stage. Um, using the signs just trying to spice that up a little bit. Just adding some more details here to the building just to sort of help flesh it out a little more, make it look a little more realistic. And now I've got a nice little real-time shot of this shop I made at night just to sort of show off the lighting. Um, I do end up removing these two lanterns. Uh, I, they didn't seem to add much light and they looked a little out of place. Uh, I think overall this shop came out pretty well. Like I said before, it could probably use a little more detailing just to help liven it up some. But I'll come back to that maybe at another time. And here you see me playing around with the wall signs again. Uh, I'm just trying to see if you can use them maybe for creating some lighted paths. Uh, just once again to get some different color into the world that we don't have available yet. And mainly just playing around to see what you can and can't do with these signs. As you can see I added some to the sides of the stage and I think it turned out fairly well just for 
adding some different texture, uh, lighting, color to the stage. Now we're going to get to one of the cooler parts of this episode, I think. Uh, while I was trying to figure out how I was going to light up this main floor area of the building, um, I was also trying to figure out what I was going to do with all of these small circles that pop up when you create these plazas. Uh, and I just sort of grabbed one of the small lights and plopped it down. Uh, just kind of get an idea of how much light it would throw out. And it actually works almost perfectly for filling the space between each little circle with a nice little lighting pattern. Um, as you'll see later from far away it does look a little odd. However, I'm happy with how it turned out overall. We'll go back to the time lapse now while I plop all these down. And here you can see the result of placing down all of these lights in the circles. And you can see just how well it fills out the space with light. Um, as I said before, I'm not super crazy about the pattern the lights create. Um, and if there was a way to color these lights, I think it would look even better. But overall, uh, it turned out pretty well, I think. And now I'm just going back and adding some scenery around the shop area I created earlier. Uh, once again, just to help make it look a little more realistic and alive. Now I do probably need to go back in future episodes and possibly add just a little bit of decoration to the blank sides of the building. Um, you can see it just there, the, blue, the blank blue walls. I didn't end up adding anything to them and they do look a little bland. I'm going to play some more music now and when we come back from the time lapse we'll be at the end of the episode, we'll have some beauty shots, and that'll be it for this episode.
Well, this should pretty much do it for this episode. Um, hopefully you liked what I've done, and uh, if you have any comments or criticisms or ideas for what I can do to improve on this area, please leave it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I, I really like how the lighting turned out in here, especially with the stage. Uh, just all the different colors kind of, although they kind of clash, uh, it just helps make it look a little more dynamic and different. Um, I really like this rigging I did up here to hold the lights. Uh, it's not only somewhat realistic, but it really helps get the spotlights out over areas to uh, light up the different parts of the stage with different colors um, since the spotlights don't throw the light that far. And at nighttime, these bathrooms actually look really nice with the lighted signs. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, if you guys like what you saw, hit that like button, subscribe, share, all those good things. And I hope I'll see you all in the next video.